Mm, I'm in love with Timmy. Here, do the flower test. Yummy. No, don't eat it. To know if Timmy really loves you, you must do the flower test. Flower test? You must rip off each individual petal saying he loves me, he loves me not. If the final petal lands on he loves you, then he loves you. If the last petal lands on he does not, then he doesn't. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. Sweetie, what's wrong? Timmy doesn't love me. Why didn't Daddy come to pick me up at school too? He went to pick up milk. He's never coming back. Hello, daughter. Dad? I'm sorry I left. I want to be in your life again. Ten years later and you want to be back in my life? Only if the flower says you really love me. Hello, daughter. Dad? I'm sorry I left. I want to be in your life again. Ten years later and you want to be back in my life? Only if the flower says you really love me. He loves me? He loves me not. He loves me? He loves me not. You don't love me, Dad. Of course I love you. You're my daughter. Why'd you come back? Look, I need some money. I just need you to ask your mother. Not gonna happen. Why don't you go pick up milk like you said you were going to ten years ago? Hey, baby. Are you okay? I love you. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. I love you too. I now pronounce you husband and- Wait. I need you to do the flower test. Right now? I now pronounce you husband and- Wait. I need you to do the flower test. Right now? Yes, I have to be sure. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. You don't love me. Why would you agree to marry me if you don't love me? I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. No. You knew. Because if you really loved me, you wouldn't even have to think about it. Truthfully, there's someone else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that was embarrassing. I love you, Timmy. Brianna, I love you too. I've loved you since I was six years old. What? But I did the flower test and you didn't love me back. It must have been wrong. Try it again. The flower test doesn't lie. Please, just one more time. He loves me. He loves me not. Little baby, don't you cry. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. No, you can't sing a lullaby. Shh, the baby's sleeping. Wake up, wake up! <coughs> Why did you do that? Why were you singing a lullaby? The baby was crying, so I wanted her to sleep. Lullabies are used for population control. When you sing a lullaby, the person will fall asleep immediately. And if they don't wake up before the timer ends, they'll die. Hey girl, I have a favor. Sure, what's up? I... I need you to sing me a lullaby. No, you'll die. My mom says everyone should start practicing waking up before the timer ends. The government's encouraging people to sing more lullabies to decrease population. Okay, I'll do it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Wake up! Wake up! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, wake up! Stephanie has been eliminated. Attention, everyone. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows. Wake up! Wake up! I gotta get out of here. The music stopped. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Wake up! Wake up! She stopped singing? Why was the principal singing a lullaby on the intercom? The government's encouraging it. They said they're going to start offering rewards to people who help decrease the population. That's horrible. Rock a bye, baby. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, stop, stop! Star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a. I can't. Timmy, wake up! I can't be a killer! Timmy has been eliminated. You've got money. 
Ba ba black sheep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Everyone's lost their minds. Babe, come with me. Thanks for getting me out of there, babe. It's not safe here. I need to go home. You should too. I love you. I love you too, babe. That's why I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. What? Ba ba black sheep. Have you any? Be beautiful or be popular? I've always wanted to be beautiful. <laughs> Honey, I always thought you were beautiful. No one else thinks so, Mom. It's still loading? <laughs> Ugly loser! Do us a favor and walk around with a bag over your head. Just, just you guys wait! I chose to be beautiful! I'm going to be the most beautiful girl in the school! <laughs> There's no way that you could ever be beautiful. I am going to be beautiful. That's what I chose. I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. There's no way you'd ever look better than me. Let's make a deal. When you become beautiful, if you can get Chad to go to prom with you over me, then I'll believe you. Deal. I like your shirt, Brianna. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Ew, why is Chad talking to ugly Brianna? <laughs> I'll talk to you again once I'm beautiful. Huh? It stopped loading. Didn't work. Nothing's changed. It stopped loading. It didn't work. Nothing's changed. Hey. Brianna, stop. I want to ask you something. Oh, you were talking to me. I wanted to ask you if you wanted to be my date to prom. <laughs> yes. Well, well, looks like ugly Brianna is still ugly. It says I should be beautiful now, but it didn't work. Chad did ask me to prom, though. You can't go to prom with Chad. He's the hottest guy in the school, and you're ugly. You can only go with him if you become beautiful, or if you wear a bag over your head. Chad, we shouldn't go to prom together. Just wait. I should be beautiful any time now. What are you talking about? I chose to be beautiful. It finally stopped loading, but nothing changed. Brianna, nothing changed because you've always been beautiful. What? I chose to be beautiful. It finally stopped loading, but nothing changed. Brianna, nothing changed because you've always been beautiful. What? I've thought you were beautiful since the first time I laid eyes on you. No, you're just saying that to be nice. I'm not. I really mean it. <laughs> Thank you. I should go. I have to get to class. Brianna, look at yourself. You look beautiful. I look beautiful, but I don't even look like me. I'm going back to the way I was before. Is there something wrong with your brain? Why would you go back to looking ugly? Because she was never ugly. Chad, I don't get it. I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. Why did you choose her to go to prom with over me? You are beautiful. <laughs> on the outside. But inside, you're ugly. Come on, Brianna. Okay. <laughs> Timmy, truth or dare? Um, truth. Timmy, are you interested in women or men? Timmy, tell the truth. Because if you lie, you'll die. Women. I'm interested in women, obviously. Why would I like men? Timmy, that was a lie. Babe, are you doing okay? I know you and Timmy were close. Yeah, I'll be okay. Brianna, truth or dare? Truth. Truth is easy. Do you really love your boyfriend? If not, who do you really love? Babe, you got an easy one. Of course you love me. No, I'm in love with your brother. She's telling the truth. How could you? How could you be in love with my brother? I'm sorry. Derek, truth or dare? Truth, obviously. You must pick dare. Fine, dare. Kill Brianna. Derek, truth or dare? Truth, obviously. You must pick dare. Fine, dare. Kill Brianna. Babe, you wouldn't. You wouldn't kill me. I would. <laughs> Brianna, truth or dare? Truth. I pick truth. You must pick Dare. Okay, Dare! I dare you to kill Derek. Good, I was looking for you. Derek, wait. Can I just say one thing before you kill me? I guess you may. <coughs> hey, Brianna, tell my brother I said hi. I need to get home. Hey, Bri. Damien, hi. Have you seen my brother Derek anywhere? I've been looking for him. No, I haven't seen him anywhere. Brianna, truth or dare? Truth. Tell the truth about what happened to Derek. La, la, la.
la la la. Oopsies. No, you can't ever cut your hair. It holds memories. Who am I? Do you remember me? Do you still have all your memories? I think so. Everyone, I'm back with the milk. Who's that guy? Hey, girl. Hey, have you seen my boyfriend anywhere? No, I haven't seen him. Don't worry, maybe he's running late. Yeah, maybe. Jake? Bestie? Brianna! Oh, I, I can explain. Don't bother. I want to forget I ever even met you two. I want to forget all our memories together. <laughs> Wait, what was I trying to forget? Wait, what was I trying to forget? Brianna, please just let me explain what happened between me and Jake. You see- Explain what? I don't even know you. Oh, you cut your hair. Do you remember anything about me? No. You don't remember any of our memories together? No, nothing. I'll fill you in on anything you may have forgotten. First of all, I'm your best friend. We've been best friends since kindergarten. Brianna, please just let me apologize about- Shh! Jake, she doesn't know. Brianna, do you remember anything about this guy? No, I don't know who he is. Well, you have met him before, but you must have forgot. This is Jake, my boyfriend. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I wonder why I wanted to cut off my hair. I must have wanted to forget something horrible. Brianna, why is your best friend holding hands with your boyfriend? My boyfriend? Don't listen to Emma. She's a liar. Everyone, here are your soulmate heart lockets. Only your soulmate will have the key to your heart. And only you will have the key to their heart. Jake is going to be your soulmate for sure. You guys are made for each other. You guys really think so? Hey, Brianna, do you think I could see for soulmates? Ew, nerdy Nathan. <laughs> Imagine your soulmate is nerdy Nathan. <laughs> no, Nathan, there's no way you're my soulmate. You're a nerd. That was a little harsh. Here's your test back, Brianna. No way, you got 100%. You're smart. No. Brianna, are you a nerd now? You should quit cheerleading and join the chess club with nerdy Nathan. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nathan. Jake, it's time to see if we have the key to each other's hearts. I really hope you're my soulmate. You're the hottest girl in the school. And what else? That's it. You're hot. Nothing else matters, babe. <sighs> I guess. Does it fit? It... Does it fit? It doesn't. You're not my soulmate, Jake. So what? Who cares about a soulmate? That soulmate stuff is fake anyways. We're still gonna be together, right? We're both the hottest and most popular people in the school. Yeah. Of course. So, are you and Jake soulmates? We're not. No way, but you guys were made for each other. But, we're still gonna be together. Yay! You two are the perfect couple. Jake, why don't you break up with Brianna and just be with me? No way. She's way harder than you. You're just my side girlfriend. Why am I not even surprised? You deserve so much better than him. Just mind your business, nerdy Nathan. Hey, Nathan. I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier. I was just really hurt. I'm used to it. Someone dropped their heart key. It unlocks my heart. When you know the words to this song, sing along. Sing. Hello. Oh no, honey, did you just get a sing-along? They'll give you a lyric and you have to continue singing the lyric they'll give you or else. <gasps> and I'm bad. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Honey, you got it. You're safe. Oh no. Mommy, what's wrong? I just got a sing-along. I'm super shy. I, I don't know. Mommy, you have to sing along. I'm super shy. Mommy, please. <laughs> Mommy! I love you, Grandma. I'll see you after school. Jing! Oh no, Grandma, did you just get a sing-along? You have to sing along or else! It's a... It's a... It's a cruel summer with you. You got it, Grandma! Of course, I'm a Swifty. When you know the words to the song. When you know the words to the song. Sing along. Sing along. You can't... You can't love anyone, cause that would mean you had a heart. You're safe. I knew you would get it, sweetheart. Grandma, I'm heading to school now. Stay safe. You're all I have left after Mom died. I can't lose you too. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm not going anywhere. Class, turn to chapter two in your books. Sing along. Oh no, I just gotta sing along. Gotta white. Gotta white. 
Got a white t-shirt? It's got a white boy on my roster! I guess math class is going to be cancelled today. Uh, bro! That joke you made in math class was extremely insensitive, Derek. Go cry about it, Snowflake. Grandma? Grandma? Is everything okay? Sweetheart, I just gotta sing along. Hurry, Grandma, read the lyric to me now! What it is? The song lyric is what it is. What it is. What it is. Sweetheart, don't worry, I know the answer. You know it's not the same what it is. No, Grandma, that's as it was by Harry Styles. Goodbye, sweetheart. I love you. <laughs> grandma. Why are you crying? Your grandma was old anyways. She's all I had left, Derek. Oh no, sing along. Karma is. Did you just get a sing along? I did. The words are karma is. Come on, give me a hint. You must know something. Come on, please help me. Karma is. <laughs> Brianna, what's wrong? My grandma just passed away. When you know the words to the song, sing along, sing along. When did it? Class, now who knows the answer to this equation? Yes, I see lots of hands, but you, Timmy in the back, who clearly doesn't want to answer the question. Yes, you. What's the answer? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Timmy! Class, I got a note from your substitute teacher, and it says that you kids we're back while I was away yesterday. Never in all my 50 years of teaching have I met students who were so mean and bad. You are the worst people on the planet. Everyone, put your heads on your desk and don't speak. Um, miss? No speaking. Or breathing. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm not doing it. I'm not happy. If you hear, if you're happy and you know it, you must do whatever she says happily. If you don't do what she says with a smile, you'll die. That's scary. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. It's 7 a.m., bro. It's too early for this. Uh-oh. Chad wasn't happy and you know it. <laughs> Chad. Brittany, are you okay? I know Chad was your boyfriend. If you're happy and you know it, cut your hair. I love cutting my hair. So happy, so happy. <laughs> no, my beautiful hair. Aw, Brittany wasn't happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. If you're happy and you know it, push someone down the stairs. Hello, Brianna. Principal Stevens. You can go down the stairs first. How kind of you. Principal Stevens? Principal Stevens? I think I killed him. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! Are you okay? You look worried. My boyfriend is not going to be happy with me. I killed his dad. Principal Stevens? How could you? You killed my dad? Babe, wait. Please just listen to me. I didn't have a choice. I got happy and you know it to push someone down the stairs. I didn't know he'd die. Why would you choose my dad? If you're happy and you know it, break up with your boyfriend. Babe, we have to break up. You just got a happy and you know it, didn't you? That's funny. I just got one to kill you. Jake, you wouldn't actually do it, right? You wouldn't kill me. I would. Happily. Bree Bree, where are you? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Found you. This is for my dad. Jake? Uh-oh, Jake took too long to complete his happy and you know it. <gasps> Jake, are you still alive? <coughs> Not for much longer. I'm so cold. Here, take this sweater. You gave it to me. You should have it back anyways. I really did love you, Jake. I, I love you. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. If you're happy and you know it, kill your teacher with this apple. Apple? Look in your pocket. Miss Applewood, I got you an apple because you're my favorite teacher. Are you hungry? Thank you. You can just leave it on the desk, Brianna. Miss Applewood, you've been working really hard. You should really take a bite. Okay, I will. I am a little hungry. It's actually pretty... 
Where's Miss Applewood? Class started 10 minutes ago. If she's not here in 15 minutes, legally we can leave. If you're happy and you know it, throw your pen at Eugene. Ow! Why would you- Is it just me, or are we getting a lot more happy and you know it's recently? I'm not. I've only gotten one today. Brianna, you know if you're getting a lot of happy and you know it's, it means they're trying to eliminate you, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? If you're happy and you know it, put your hands in the air. Principal Stevens, you're alive? Yes, I'm alive, and I know what you did. I saw it all in the security footage. My boy's gone because of you. Time to get my revenge. Look, a woman in a bikini! Where? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. You lied to me. There wasn't a woman in a bikini. Revenge is gonna be sweet. Honey, are you okay? Come with me. Mom, what are you doing here? Mom, please take me home. I'm scared. The happy and you know it game is trying to eliminate me. <laughs> yes, I know. Surprisingly, you're a lot harder to eliminate than I expected, sweetie. You help run happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, give your mom a hug. I thought you said you have a government job. This is my government job. Uh-oh, you didn't complete your happy and you know it. <laughs> what are these hearts on my face for, mom? The hearts represent how many people must fall in love with you before you can meet your soulmate. When they fall in love, you lose a heart. What's the gold heart for? That represents your soulmate. You'll only lose the gold heart when your soulmate falls in love with you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What do you want? I really like your left elbow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Get out of here. Oh no, what's wrong? I need five people to fall in love with me. Look at me. It's never gonna happen. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're beautiful. You just need a makeover. Come with me. Who's that fine babe over there? Where? <laughs> He's talking about you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't snort. I, I think I'm in love with you. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. We should go on a date sometime. I'm sorry, Jake, but I don't think I'm your type. I'm Brianna. Who? The weird girl. <laughs> There's no way that's you. Goodbye, Jake. You're doing great. You already got someone to fall in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great? I told you not to snort. I only need three more people to fall in love with me, and then I can meet my soulmate. Look, there's a guy right there. What do I do? Wink at him. Act cute. Play with your hair a bit. Whoa, is everything okay here, little man? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm okay. I was actually trying to flirt with you. <laughs> oh, you were? I thought there was something wrong with you. Hey, my name's Jason. What's yours? Brianna. We should exchange numbers. Okay. You lost another heart! No way, your makeover's working great! Hey, Bray. <laughs> Stop, if you wanna get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Your makeover's working great! Hey, Bray. <laughs> Stop, if you wanna get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Brianna, look at this insect I found! <laughs> wow, let me see! Brianna, tell him. Kevin, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. I'm trying to get boys to fall in love with me, so... I can't be seen with the weird guy. I really hope that getting boys and being popular is worth losing who you are. So after class, we'll go looking for the next guy. Brianna, don't wear your glasses. I can't see anything. Why do I have to change everything about myself to get boys to like me? Why can't I just be me? Brianna, wait. This is just so boys will fall in love with you so you can find your soulmate. Once you find your soulmate, you can go back to being yourself again. And who's to say my soulmate's going to love me for who I am? No one else does. Brianna, you lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. You lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. Hey, Brianna. Your grades have been doing phenomenal. You're looking really good these days. I like your new look. I'll see you in class. Do you think it was Mr. Stevens that fell in love with you? For his wife and kids sake? I hope it's not him. Okay, right in front of you, that's Chad. He's one of the hottest guys in the school. Go up to him and ask if he would like to attend Devin's party with you. Kevin's walking this way. So? Hi, Kevin. Don't talk to me. You're too cool for me, remember, Brianna? <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing? Go talk to Chad. Right. Chad. Hi, what's your name? I'm not sure we've met before. <laughs> 
Stop. Please don't, don't like it when you cry. I don't care. I don't care about Chad. I'm in love with Kevin. Is Kevin more important than your soulmate? He is. Then go to him. Kevin, I... Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. How'd it go with Kevin? Did you tell him you like him? He likes someone else. Brianna, you lost your last heart. Someone else fell in love with you. Chad. No, it wasn't Chad. It was me. Oh? Not in a romantic way, in a platonic way. I fell for you and I saw that you stay true to yourself and know what you want. The only person left to fall in love with you is your soulmate. That means I'm going to find my soulmate anytime now. That's the girl I remember. <laughs> It's so great to be myself again. Hey, do you mind if I sit next to you? Uh, okay. Does anyone know the answer to this equation? 7,422. Girl who knows her math. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. What? Nothing. Congrats on finding your soulmate and getting him to fall in love with you. What's this? It's a list of all the people who fell in love with you before your soulmate. The third person on the list is Kevin. Mommy, look what I can do. In what, in what, in what, in what? Mommy! No, sissy, you just killed mom. Were you dancing? I was just doing this. In what, in Stop! What, in dancing what, in kills what? people! <gasps> oh no. Sissy! Did you hear? She killed her mom and sister when she was six years old. Can people stop bringing that up? I was six. I didn't know dancing killed people. Everybody knows dancing kills people. It's the first thing we learn when we're younger. Whatever. Oh, look, it's the family killer. That's it. I can't take this anymore. I'm going home. Brianna, leaving school early, going home to kill more family members? Be quiet. Come on, show us. Show us the dance moves you use to kill your family. No, she's actually dancing. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Brianna, what did you do? <laughs> Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be a princess for real. No, you should never make a promise. Now you only have 10 years to fulfill your promise or else. Or else what? I go on timeout? A permanent timeout. When I was 10 years old, I made a promise that I would have kids one day. Now I have to have kids by 20. Whoa, that's so young. I know, I didn't know about the 10 year rule. When I was 6, I made a promise that I would be a princess. Brianna, that's never going to happen. There's no way a prince would marry an average citizen. I know. I'm probably going to be dead in the next year. Attention, everyone. What is going on? The prince is throwing a royal ball to find his princess. Even all you common folk are given a chance to impress the prince. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. Alright, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game! Selected. No, you can't say those words! Sissy, let's play a game! Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at, so that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. Choose first. I got the short stick. Wait, let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, 
paper, scissors. scissors. Hello, Brianna. Hi. The name is... I'm your new neighbor. Where are you off to? School. Are you going alone? No, I'm not alone. I'm meeting my friend. She's just over there. Mom, the new neighbor is kind of weird. He gives me bad vibes. Do you know his name? We can look him up on public data check. By typing in his name, we'll be able to get a detailed background report. This will show us if he's safe to be around or not. It will show if he has a criminal record, address, history, location, and names. Mom, guess what I found out? He's changed his name like 10 times. He's moved places 15 times in the past year and has multiple felonies. He's not safe to be around.